Dalton right. Roberts uh, coming off the World Olympic Games qualifier. Um, you know, obviously not the result we wanted today. Mm -hmm. Uh, but, but take me through your, your tournament, your process, your match today, I mean, 11-6 against Ukraine. You're right in there, you know, I had the, the early front headlock that you gave up and then battled back and just couldn't, couldn't pull out of him. Talk me through your tournament. Yeah, uh, tough match I felt going into this tournament. Uh, I was coming off a high from the trials, um, you know, battling adversity through that and making it through. And then coming into this, I felt like I had a lot of mo uh, momentum and then that first match, um, you know, I failed to stop the front headlock early and I was down 7-0 and I just started trying to chip back piece by piece and, um, you know, unfortunate that some blood time had some, some resting uh, for his sake that kind of went against me. But uh, tough day, you know, sometimes the cards don't fall as, as you'd like them to, uh, you know, I can't nothing I can look back and say I didn't do um, you know I put everything I put my heart and soul into this tournament and previous tournaments to get to this point uh, lifetime really so I don't have any regrets um, just a tough day um, do you have any perspective on what you've accomplished I mean you've made a couple of things before uh, that was a few years ago right mm -hmm. you've come back and you've taken over this top spot and, and you're the guy weight class right now you know, just perspective on how you've grown as a, as a wrestler over the last few years yeah it's been a long journey i was you know second place the last two years to a teammate of mine so i got to watch him um year after year get the spot um over me and just watch him um kind of hold it down for a bit so it felt good to get that back because um, it's been to be honest tough you know sitting back in that passenger seat when i know that you know, I'm cap more than capable of getting it done on the right day. And so uh, this really felt like the opportunity for me. So that's, you know, kind of fighting some demons on that. But um, yeah, I think it's, it's definitely paid off. It's gotten me more hungry just sitting behind him and um, watching him do what he does. Um, I've learned a lot. Um, I'm ready to hold it down and um, definitely continue to better myself you know the better the best me hasn't been shown yet and I'm excited to try to find that so uh, for this trip I mean in, even in Greco in general army tends to tends to run the roost right but here you have a whole crew all three of you are from the army training partners from the army your coaches are here it's a whole it's a whole crew I mean can you just talk about for you what, it, what it's like to have that support system in place for you yeah, I mean, it kind of feels like a family event, you know, even as we travel over to Turkey, um, you know, I've got all the people that I know and love and uh, we're just surrounded by each other. It makes um, the hard things easy sometimes, you know, when it comes to cutting weight, I got his back, he's got mine, whether it's in the sauna, on the treadmill, um, it's just familiarity, it makes things simple and uh, you can get more comfortable in these overseas tournaments with that. Um, but as far as WCAP and the Greco scene, um, I think most people know that we're kind of running the roost right now and it's going to continue and we look forward to that. Um, it's just the culture that we have in that room right now. It's hungry and um, tenacious, yeah. Just last thing, Any, anything you want to say to people back home or anyone supporting you or the this really? Yeah, uh, thank you. You know, it's been tough. Um, the best yet to come. Thank you. Love you.